Okay, so I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder. Um, I think we covered this last time. Let's go down here. He didn't sleep last night, so he must rest a bit. Oh, night before last, so two nights ago. So he must rest a bit. So you can't use must in the past. You could say he must have rested, but the meaning is different. That's going to be a different meaning. So you can't use that meaning. Um, you want to say he had to rest. That's okay. Okay, let's go down here. He must go. So if you want to say eating, you have to say will definitely or will surely go. Okay, let's go down here to this next one. Um, we must have to go now. We must to go now. So we must go now. So must have to is combination mistake. You don't want two of those. You want must or you want have to, but you don't want must have to. And then must go is the answer. If you say must to, it's wrong also. So remember no to. And then we have to go. Okay, and down here, we must to take our lunch. A lot of people will say take, like take a meal down here, but I don't think that's very common. It might be common in England, but I, my British colleagues don't say that very much. Maybe they don't say that because they're around Americans, but I don't know. I don't hear it very often, so just say have lunch. Um, and also be sure to look at the stars. How many stars these have too? Up here. Three stars. So this is going to change. Let's take that out. And we'll use this one. Okay. okay, let's go back down here to the next one. If you don't like it, you must not eat it. This is another mistake with must and You do not have to eat, or you do not need to eat it. So let's write that in.
So you can say any of those. I'm gonna emphasize this one here and then we'll finish for today. Okay, so next week we'll start with myself. Bye guys.